Hi there, in this video you're going to learn the difference between helft and half in Dutch. So, when you're going to an online dictionary and you're looking for the translation of half, then you'll find out that in English half means half. It's a, not a big surprise, right? But then you're going to look for a translation of helft and you'll find out it means half in English. So, hmm, that doesn't sound right, right? Uh, twice half for the same word. So what is the difference between helft and half? Well, it's rather simple. Helft is a noun, so you say de helft, the half. And half or halve means uh, half and is the adjective. So you put the adjective with another noun. So let's take a few examples. De helft van de tafel, that means the half of the table. Uh, that's with helft. And de halve tafel means half a table. So when do you use um, helft and when half? Well, you can easily check it by replacing the word by a noun or and by, uh, by an adjective. For example, if you're, you're using the noun color, uh, you're going to see the color of the table, so the kleur van de tafel. Well, that sounds good, right? But the kleuren tafel, the colory table, mm, that doesn't really sound good. So that's how you know uh, where to use a noun. And you can also make the same uh, thing with the adjective. For example, groot, meaning big. So the groot van de tafel, the big of the table, mm, well, that doesn't really sound right. But the grote tafel, the big table, that sounds right. So that's how you know uh, where to use helft and where to use half. And in English, you translate it, uh, the helft van de, uh, with half of the table. So uh, there's an article more there and it can be a little bit confusing uh, to learn this, the helft. Also, don't forget to use the van when you're saying the helft van de tafel. What is also confusing is a translation as an adjective. Uh, for example, de halve tafel, half a table, or half the table. Is that the article uh, goes in between the, ad the adjective and the noun. So that might also be a little confusing. So uh, watch out. So uh, put the article in front, de halve tafel, like you would do it for de grote tafel, the big table. So let's try with another example. Half of the students go there and half of the students go there. Ah, okay, half of the students, meaning uh, you would use the helft. So you would say the helft van de studenten gaat daar and the helft van de studenten gaat daar. Half of the students go there, half of the students go there. However, when you're using the adjective, you're going to talk about half of um, half a student. Well, so the half a student, and that sounds a little bit weird because uh, you're going to cut a student in two and, uh, well, please don't cut uh, people in two, that's not a good thing. Uh, so the half a student, well, that would sound a little bit weird. Uh, all right, so I hope this clarifies the difference between the half and a half. Also, one last point before I leave you. Uh, when you're talking about time, you're also going to use half. You're not going to use the half. Uh, for example, this is nine, uh, sorry, half past nine in English. Half past nine. And in that case, you'll always use half. Uh, but with one thing that complicates it even more is that we go to the hour after the, the hour that is displayed. Like you see, 9, 30, uh, we're going to go to 10. So this is half 10. It is half tien. Uh, so there you also use half. All right, if you want to learn more Dutch, uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel.